guys, Miss Latina here with Corpse Party 2 Dead Patients. Let's go. We got you another spooky, cute little game, and I'm super excited to play it. So let's get it started. Let's keep it going. Do you wish to view the prologue? Yes, I do. Yes, indeed. So what do we got here? The silence of the dim room was broken by a faint ding, indicating that another email had been received. The computer's user, user moved his hands from the keyboard to the mouse and clicked into the mailbox. He was greeted by a row after row of messages, all with the same subject. Nods to the Netherworld contact forum. Oh, that looks cool. The black-haired boy gave a soft sigh and looked away from the screen, casting his eyes to the opposite corner of the room. We sure do get a lot. What should we do with them all? The boy's tone was troubled by the remaining kind, and even as he spoke, he was showing obvious consideration for his companion. And that companion was a single girl wearing a white cardigan. She was seated in the corner of the room, I illuminated by the sunlight, but didn't move even a single muscle. Her gaze was unfocused. Looking at her, one could be forgiven for wondering if she really was cognizant of her surroundings, or if she even existed as little more than a vegetable. Oh wow, we should put the window, we should shut the window at least, and we don't want to catch a cold Shinozaki. So far, so good. Hey, yo. What is this? What's going on? What's happening to me? Where am I? I wrecked my brain trying to understand the situation I was in and how I could have gotten here. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't remember a thing. Is anyone there? Excuse me? I'm scared. I'm so scared. Alright. Let's go. Oh. Well, that was a needle. I hooked up to a drip. Was I hooked up to a drip? It hurts so much. It feels like my head is about to burst open. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> That's funny. Funny but not funny, you know what I mean. Oh god, I've made such a mess. Is that blood? Wait, are we bleeding? My head feels so woozy. It's all I can do just to remain conscious. I can't believe I soil myself. Maybe it's the... <laughs> oh my god. So she did soil herself. Okay. Maybe it's the anesthesia hasn't completely worn off yet. Oh boy. This looks like an operating room, but what am I doing here? Wait, who? Who even am I? I can't remember anything. Oh no. Objected. Updated. Escape from the operation room. Alright. What is this? This. There doesn't seem to be much inside, but it's a big enough to fit a person. So this could potentially be used hiding spot in a pinch. Okay, so we're gonna definitely be running around. There's gonna be uh, people patrolling. There are numbers of surgical tools here, including a pair of forceps. Huh? Press B, then use the directional arrows to cycle through and view items correctly in your position. To use an item, select it from the item menu. This will place it in Ayami's hand, and she will then automatically use it when interacting with a corresponding object or person. Alright, let's try it out. Ah, okay. Seems cool. There is a small key on the chair, faintly glinting in dull light of the room. A small key, a key that looks a bit too small to fit in any doors. So maybe a locker? 
Obtain medical chart number three, patient Chichiro Yamada. Okay, seems cool. Okay. There's a chart of some kind on the screen. The numbers on it are increasing and decreasing rapidly, a bit too rapidly to mean anything good. What is this? It's a card lock designed to unlock the door. Only a valid ID is scanned. The cable leading to it is cut, however, it's receiving no power. If I can put these forceps in between the two valves, then this cable will complete the connection. Oh! Electricity ran through the forceps, delivering a rather significant electrical shock. It's much too dangerous to do this with bare hands. Okay. What is this? There's a single medical record here with a note attached to it. The medical record has a patient name and photograph listed on it as well. Read the medical record? Yeah. This, this is me. Yami Atu? Yami, yes, that's right, that's my name. My name is Yami Yatoi, I finally remember. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> Especially the last name. There is an ID card logged inside the file. A security card that grants asset privileges to its owner. It can be used to unlock specific doors. An ID card. There's a red warning message flashing on the screen. So wait, I do have a key here. I have this little key here. Does it work here? Use the small key to open the cabinet doors. The inside is full of disposable surgical items. Among them are several pairs of disinfected rubber gloves. Thin rubber gloves worn during the surgical procedures. Okay. Oh, wait. So maybe we can use them here? Um, okay. We use this. Can we use it like this now? Okay. I put the... Oh! The connection is holding. The card reader has power. Now it's remaining input. Uh, ah, there you go. Cool. The door is locked. Sign on it. MRI room. Medical chart number 24. Patient Mio. I'm guessing those are- Oh! What? I'm guessing those are like collectibles or something. Who's that little girl? What is this? It's all black and syrupy. Ew. Okay, she came from here. It's locked. The door says emergency exit on it. Hmm. Just an emergency exit. Why did she come through it? The door is locked. The sign on it reads- Okay, so this is the other side of the MRI, I'm guessing. Oh, there she is. Come back! Hail me! It's so quiet. Why is there no one else here? Excuse me, is anyone there? It's so dark, too. I can't... Well, this is the second floor. But where is everyone? Aren't there any nurses? Everything is a mess, too. What happened here? Is this place ransacked? It's so creepy. Okay, stay calm. I just need to see if I can find someone. Maybe I'll remember something along the way. I can do this. You can do it, because I'm here for you. That's why you can do it. Oh, we got another card. Okay, and you can move the plants. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's another card here. Oh, I nearly got it. I nearly got it. Maybe I have to go around. There's a phone calling. There's like a big dark hole over here too. Kind of spooky. Oh. We got another one. Medical chart number seven. Patient Yurika Sakamoto. The fire door is closed and locked and there's no way through. Okay. Okay. We did it. Cool. The door says, office on it. It's locked. Oh, there's a note. Be back in a bit. I'll leave the key with someone else in the changing room. In case anyone needs to get in, in here in the meantime. Management. Objective updated. Get the office key from the changing room. Okay. What is
is this? Boxes are stacked up here. They are surprisingly heavy. Getting past them doesn't seem like it would be easy. It might be faster simply to look another route. Okay. Oh, it's the directory. Amari, Patriarcha. I don't recognize the name at all. I mean, it's a kind of weird name, if you ask me. Oh, there's another little hiding spot right here. Cool. Does this work? Doesn't seem like it. Another hiding spot right there. Can we take the elevators out of here? That's strange. The button lit. So why isn't the elevator coming? Is something blocking the door from closing down below? Maybe. Okay, so we gotta fix the elevator on the first floor, I'm guessing. Let's go check out this door right here. Ah, this is the... The change room that you were talking about. It's locked. Oh, there's like a little re... The nameplate reads Kuno. The nameplate... If there are enough groupings here that I'm betting these lockers are sorted by the Japanese alphabet. Vowels first, then K, S, T, T, N, H, F, M, Y, R, L, and finally W at the end. Hmm. Seems like a puzzle. I don't think there's anything here. At all. I don't think there's anything here that we can do. What is this? It's a time card recorder. It's switched on, but it seems to be malfunctioning as it's not displaying the current time. It does seem still like it and accept cards, however. Accept cards? Oh, look, we got a laundry room. It's a washing machine. It's full of wet clothes and smells faintly of mold. Come to think of it, I have no idea how long I've been wearing this uniform. Ew! Imagine. Imagine A notice has been put up on the board All laundry must be placed in a hamper Corresponding to the day of your shift I don't even know what day of the week It is right now Okay Nothing here Let's check the hampers There's nothing inside the canvas Okay Ten seven in total Nothing. There's nothing. There's a white coat inside the canvas hamper. The name tag on it reads Nishida. And inside of its pockets, there's a, a key. A key to a locker in the change room. It was in a white coat with the name Nishida on it. Looks like the key to one of the lockers in the changing room. So, it did say first the vowels, and then all the other ones are off of it. Okay. So, if that's H, I'm guessing the vowels are... The ones without the tag. Uh, it's locked. It's locked. Wait, I have to put this on, right? It's locked. So, it's locked. The name is K. Okay, there are enough groupings here that I'm betting these lockers are sorted by the Japanese alphabet vowels first. And then KST. So we're N. If this is K, correct? Then it has to be on this line here. Uh huh. The locker is now unlocked. The key adorned with the sticker that has the word office written on it. Cool. Now that's taken care of, there's no further use for the cargo locker keys, so they have been discarded. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to the office. Look how cute I look. 
the tiny little legs looking so cute all right let's go and use the key in the office so the door says office on it so it is now unlocked yay all right so what do we got here let's start on this side of the room right here and make our way to the right so what's over here Numeric keypad is attached to the door. The correct combination must be entered. Okay. So, oh. Okay. Four digit code. Code was incorrect. Well, I figured that much. Alright. Oh, we got us another little thingy. There's a pile of documents on the desk. This one has a list of names on it. I should take it with me and it can be useful. A document found on one of the desks in the hospital in the main office. Okay. So this must be like important people or just the people in this office, I'm guessing. Okay. There's some birthdays and whatnot. The board is practically overflowing with to-dos. Being a hospital clerk must be a really busy job. What is this? A sticky note has been attached to the computer monitor. The chief's coffee cup is a red one. Don't get it mixed up with your own. Okay. Nothing here. This is a blue cup. So I'm uh, guessing that's not the one. Can I? Okay. There's a bundle of papers on the desk. They all been signed by someone. Named Ms. Cameron. Okay. There's a bottle of papers on the desk. Okay. So I'm guessing this is not the person, right? Okay, what is this? Sticky note has been attached to the computer monitor. The code to open the door is the chief's birthday. Don't forget that. Wait, so. Then it's. Red cup, is this it? The red cup on the desk. So this is the manager's office. Okay. There's a bundle of papers on the desk. They've all been signed by Mita Mura. So let's check our note. Apparently, Mita Mura was born on the 0 21 1967 1964. Seven is a four digit number. Maybe that's it. Nineteen six seven. No. And then we have zero two twenty one, which is his uh, birthday. Oops. Birthday and month. Zero two twenty one. Aha, uh -huh, the door is now unlocked. Oh, cool! We're on the other side of the boxes. Okay. What's over here? It's kind of dark, ain't it? Door's locked. Gonna go ahead and place right here. So we plant. We got another collectible. Okay. Another one, okay. So, let's see what's over here. The music changes like spookiness. Oh. What the hell? Okay, before we go over there, I am going over here. Thousand. Sheesh, vending machine selling cartons of juice only takes coins. Okay. That's the other side. Let's go follow that ghost. I'm not even sure if that's a ghost or not. Yeah, I think that's a ghost. Yeah, that's definitely a ghost. Do I smell incense? Okay, let's go. Oh, 
know if I can get close to it or not. It's going that way. I'm scared to go close to him. What's over here? Oh, okay. The back way. This is a uh, glinty. Okay. Is it there anything else? In the back way. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, what is this? Okay. There's rolls of toilet paper here. This it looks fairly clean. Wait. Okay. Well, I thought I could take it. <laughs> I look silly. All right. Let's get out of here. And then I'm guessing this is the boys' bathroom. Oh, this is the boys' bathroom. If someone were to see me here, I'd be mortified. I should leave. What? Ain't nobody here, girl. Bathroom is a bathroom. The hell? Oh shit, somebody's shouting. Look. Wow. The hell is wrong with you? Are you trying to make a fool out of me? You're the ones who are, make who are wrong here. I could crush you all like bugs if I wanted to be, you know? Is that it? The door is locked, apparently. Whoa, I wonder who's over there. Actually, I don't want to know. Sounds mean. Sounds super mean. I'm just gonna go ahead and save. Pharmacy? It's locked. Okay. Oh! She opened the door. I just see someone moving in there. In a room on the other side of the glass seems to be in a rather hazard state. Okay, so everything is locked over here, so we have no choice but to go in there. Alright, what is this? Another one? Hello? Is everything okay? Oh god, what is she saying? Oh my gosh, and the branches are the bones, and the earth is the meat. I shall breathe life into these clumps of earth. Some will be sent to the sea, others will be sent to the sky. Still others will take residence in the soil. I shall rejoice in this life, for people are born without the means to abide the wicked regret. In time, it will destroy them. When the equilibrium is lost, it can never be restored. Yet, all I can do is watch as the wicked breath runs rampant. My final wish to see it all return to the void. To meat chipped away, the bones broken, and all revert to not by clumps of earth. Okay! Alright, we read that. that. That's scary. So that's all she's saying. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone now. Uh, and I'm gonna go follow this blue arrow. Alright, I'll see you later. Okay. What is this? A rattle. A toy that makes a sound with shake and design to calm babies. Select via inventory. Then press Y. Okay. What is this? Some Resident Evil stuff? What's going on in this hospital? Do we have to like turn on all the lights maybe? Okay, we got a circus here. Can't really interact with that. Okay, and then we got this light. Okay. There we have a... Oh, what is this? What the hell? Whoa! It's a giant baby. What the hell? Um... Oh! What? Wait, what the hell? What's this? Oh, shit! Okay, okay, this item could stop bleeding and recover health. So, there's, uh, health items?
Oh, is he? Oh, he's stuck. That's funny. <laughs> he was stuck on the little circus thing. Okay, that, that was pretty cool. Um, not 100% sure what just happened here. But I think we defeated a boss, I think. Wait, hello? Whoa! Don't just stand there, help her. Wait, how the hell do we not help this woman? She just did it. What the hell? It's all her fault, it's not me. I would help. No. The key, where is the key? Is it in a playroom or something? Oh. Don't tell me, the key's right here. <laughs> the key's right here. Pharmacy key, the key to unlock the pharmaceutical dispensary door from the inside seems like unnecessary precaution. Well, well, well. Not today, though. What the fuck is that, dude? Oh, hell nah. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got so distracted by what I just saw that... I didn't even select the right thing. Let's go ahead and save. Okay. Let's go follow him and see where the hell is he going. So this is locked here. I think he went straight ahead. Could be wrong. Okay. Another little card thingy. Can I not grab this? There you go. Really dark over there too. It's an old vending machine with snacks. Oh wait. Looking closely, there seems to be a key hanging from one of those hooks. Uh, okay. I need a coin. I really want something to drink. Uh, we need a coin. Okay, we need. We definitely need a coin. No reception. What's over here? Oh, the elevator. Certainly one way to keep the elevator from leaving the store. Let's get that out of here. Move the shoe out of the way. Oh. That's awesome. So since we can't go to the boys' bathroom, maybe... Just checking. There's another collectible. I don't think we're gonna find anything in the bathroom, so I don't- I'm not even sure if I'm gonna check those. I think it's only the collectibles that are in there. Okay, we're looking for a coin. Because once we search everything here, we'll um... We'll go use the elevator. I guess. Oh, there's exit doors here. And there's nothing else there. Can we go in here? Oh, we can. And there's another demo thing here. Is there anything else here? I don't see it. Okay. It won't open. The door automatic locks seem to have been kicked in, both the floor and toward the ceiling, and these locks aren't budging for anything or anyone. Okay, no, this can't be happening. Sob. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck here all day. Imagine. A cart. On the glass surface of the door, there's a web of cracks, as if something hard had been repeatedly slammed against it. But the impact hadn't been enough to break through. Someone, someone must have had tried to use this card to break the glass and escape. Oh boy. 
I wish I knew what was going on here. Boy, oh boy. No, no, I can't give up yet. I need to try and find another exit. So, I mean, there's still the emergency exit upstairs where the white long hair girl uh, came from. I saw the light from the flashlight when I was over by the pharmacy earlier. And I don't think it was from the woman who hanged herself. So, I'll, I know I'm not alone here. If I can just find a person again, I'll be able to deal with all this so much better. They could be in the same situation as me too. Man, this game is loud as hell. This game is probably one of the loudest games I've had. Hopefully, y'all can hear me clearly. Try to check all the... Um, the settings on it and everything. Maybe it's just my headphone that's really loud. More than anything else. But, um... But, yeah. Objects are the light. Or have wheels attached. Can be moved. If you see something that looks like it can be moved, press a button and while facing it, you'll grab a hold of it. You can then use the directional arrows to move it around. Try it with a nearby cart. Okay. And then what? Ah, okay. Oh, what is this? Um... Oh my god, we got the coin. We didn't get that key. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Find another exit somewhere. Okay. Okay, let's leave. I think we can get that key and go through the emergency door. I mean, that's the only explanation. Only way that I can see us leaving right now, that'd be that. Or, yeah, that's the only way. No, please. Don't go out. I don't want to be in the dark. Wait, what? No. Wait, what just happened? Oh boy, is she really doing it again? Oh god, perhaps because my muscles were still relaxed from the anesthesia. Like, it's not that. You're just scared. It's okay. It's okay. I found myself unable to control my mouth. Suddenly, without warning, I yet <laughs> again swirl myself. These Japanese games are so funny. <laughs> Sniffle, I'm so sorry. I bet the hospital staff is way too mad at me for that. So I'll have to clean this up later if I get the chance. But first, I'm going to need to change my underwear. Yeah, I mean, you ain't done it twice already, so you definitely need that. Wait, what is... Oh, that's the little girl. It's funny, we were just talking about her. Well, are you... Are you okay? Are you alone? The face of the young girl already showing signs of extensive crying suddenly twisted itself into a look of sheer, primal terror. Man, is this in her head? Like, what is she seeing? Is it a ghost? Are we inside her subconscious? Like, what is it? I wonder who that was just now. She seems kind of a familiar. Somehow I feel like I have to protect her. I just can't remember anything clearly. It's so frustrating. I struggled to try and remember anything at all about myself, but all I but all that I did was make my head spin and turn my stomach in knots. What even happened to me? Oh. I really need to change my underwear. I'm done. Wait, isn't that the guy with the flashlight that we saw earlier? Someone's there? Excuse me, can you help me? It's so bright. God, this is embarrassing. I need to wipe up so badly. Please, wait, I'm, um... Uh, would you please turn that light away from me? It's very bright. I can smell incense again. Oh god, what is he saying? Oh thank god, I guess it's a normal person after all. Um, um, I don't know what's going on exactly, but... Can you tell me where this hospital is located? I don't know where I am right now. Can he not hear me? 
Oh god. What is he gonna exercise me or something? Does he think I'm a ghost? Oh, I'm I'm fine, really. My head just hurts. That's all. I actually can't remember why I'm here. Every time I try, I feel sick to my stomach. What the frick, dude? <laughs> Holy shit! She just told you, man. She has a headache, and you're hitting her over the head. Oh my god. Yeah, we're running. Yeah, we're leaving. We're going to that vending machine. <laughs> yep. Yeah, buddy. Wait, where's the vending machine again? Oh, shit. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. Uh, before we get slaughtered. Wait, where's that vending machine again? Did we miss it? Maybe it's through here? Oh, it's right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay. Okay. Yes. The 100 yen. Put it in there. Emergency exit key. A label on it reads the second floor fire escape. 10 yen coins. Head to the fire escape on the second floor. Okay. Isn't there the elevator right here? I don't want to cross her. She's over there, so I'm gonna run over here. Yeah, elevator, elevator, elevator. Bye bye, lady. Oh. Good thing we came over here. Don't you? Fling it. Second floor, please. Before she gets here. Oh my god, her pants are really dirty. Look at that. <laughs> I'm done. Oh my god. Oh, wait. The elevator door is slightly ajar. Any attempts to see inside are futile. However, it's absolutely pitch black within. Okay. Oh. Oh, did we forget about this? Wait. Okay, we got it. Is she gonna be up here? I'm wondering. She's really scared. Okay. So now, what do we have? Yeah, the emergency key door. Yeah, right here. Um. The door is now unlocked. This rain is so heavy, I can't keep my eyes open. Through the heavy rain, I can just make about out the iron stairs leading to the first floor. But the iron was so largely rusted away, leaving a gaping hole part way down. There was no way it would hold under my weight. I'd have to find another way down. I can't even use the emergency exit to get out of here. Man, I almost got blown over. I should get back inside. I'll catch my death in the cold out here. So, that's pretty tragic, because we can't even... Uh, excuse me? Oh, what the fuck, dude? No way. No way. The random attacker was holding an arm down with the weight of her body. She drew back her own arm within, which she held a medical syringe. I could clearly see the sticker on the outside of the syringe, which read... For disposal, this wasn't a proper dose of anything. It was a clinical waste. Yeah. No! Oh, what the hell? It, it went in her own neck. Is she dead? Are, are you alright? Yeah, right. She's still going crazy. What the hell? God help me, I'm, I'm not going to last much longer. Whoa, who is that? Back off! <laughs> she runs away. What the hell? Are you alright? You're a sane one, aren't you? They seem to be afraid of the light. The bear of the flashlight was slightly plump middle-aged woman with a large camera slung over her shoulder. So, are you alright? Come on now, get up. Are you in the dark? If you're in the dark... They'll come for you again. <laughs> come over here where there's light. You can introduce yourselves inside. Okay. 
All right, I guess we're following her. I mean, she's she did save my life after all, right? Got all right. It. I'm a Riko Soko Satomi, a press photographer. Who are you? Oh. I'm Yayami, Yayami Atoy. Atu, I don't know. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Hmm. You've gotten yourself caught up in all of this too? You poor thing, no one deserves this. Do you know what's happening here exactly? I'm afraid I don't. The only thing I can remember clearly is what happened way before I lost consciousness. Wait, so there's a little story background to this, okay. I'd woken up the morning, that morning, hacky so bad that it felt like my lungs were going to rupture. I thought maybe I'd just caught a really bad cold, but honestly, I had no idea. It's coronavirus, and no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm laughing. So before heading out to take photos for an upcoming co article, I decided to swing by the Patriarcha and have it seen or two. Okay, how much longer am I going ha to have to wait? I need to be out of here and get to work by the end of lunch. I don't have time for this. But if I can't stop this cough, I won't be able, I won't be much use at work. So there'd be no point in going at all. Cough, cough. <coughs> okay. Grumbling to myself impatiently, my eyes wander settling on the visible balcony like a hallway of the third floor above me. Oh, okay. There's a little girl and her mom. Got you. Wait, what is she doing? What the? F what the fuck? What the? Huh? What the hell are you doing? Wait a minute. What? Now the mom jumped too. Holy shit, what's going on? Somebody, get a doctor. What the hell? Don't push, please. Everyone, try to stay calm. You're there. We need a stretcher over here. Stat. Holy man. Holy. This is a plot twister. What in the world? to shoot this. I feel bad doing it, but a scoop's a scoop. Yikes, dude. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Next thing I know, I'm face down on a stretcher in the second floor hallway. There's an awful lump on the back of my head, too. I think somebody knocked me unconscious with a blunt object of some kind. Well, before I lost consciousness, I saw something absolutely terrifying. Or, at least I think I did. I saw it through a viewfinder, and I'm starting to doubt that it was real, but I remember it very distinctively. What was it? The little girl who was thrown from the third floor had her head split open on impact. Naturally, she was already very dead, except... Except what? <laughs> hell nah, let me see this. Let me see this. Oh, hell nah. She really getting up? Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Yo, the art in this game is fantastic. Oh shit, she just got knocked out. Except what? Never mind. It was probably just a hallucination. I was losing consciousness after all. Besides, dead bodies don't just get up like that at any rate when i woke up everything was pretty much as you see it now i was fortunate enough to stumble upon a flashlight at least and learn in the process that those things hate light what are they are they ghosts you sh <laughs> how should i know just because i'm an adult doesn't mean i have all the answers i look like zombies or something right i don't know um, besides, there's no such things as ghosts or people coming back from the dead or any of the other alcohol nonsense. 
I'm a journalist. I deal in facts. I have no interest in wild fantasies. We must be dealing with some kind of poisoning here or mass hysteria or something. They're all patients after all. There is a logical explanation for all of this. A medical cause? There has to be. Mm. What was that noise a second ago? Yeah, I don't want to know about no noises. Okay, thank you. What is this thing? Hello? Oh, I wouldn't recommend looking under that. Uh, why not? It was extremely heavy set man wearing a suit. He was very clearly dead. His whole body covered with a large cloth. Which had soaked up an absolutely nauseating amount of blood. I don't know him, but he was with me until a short while ago. Until they ate his face in the hallway out there. Holy nuts. Ate his face? What is this? Zombies? <laughs> oh, please do not soil yourself again, okay? <laughs> please don't. Why? Why is this happening? All I know is it's dangerous to hang around the halls here, so I've got to propose it. As you've already seen, there is no escape from this building. I don't know why, but all the exits and windows are completely shuttered. And you can't force your way past any of it. Believe me, I've tried. So, I think the safest thing for us to do right now is barricade ourselves somewhere out of the way until help arrives. What do you think? I'm planning on making on my way over to the nurse's station. Got electricity and lighting, and more importantly, a direct line to the outside. There, we get in touch with the proper authorities, and then we wait for someone to come and bring us safely out of this hell. We so go produce the key from her pocket and flashes it at me. It had a sticker on it that read Nurses Station. Okay, cool. Head to the Nurses Station. I guess we're following her. Wait, what's going on? Are we not going? Wait, is she here? Wait, wait, what's going on? I know what she must be thinking. What's good we're all holding ourselves up to, but I do have a plan, look. Risoko turned her phone toward me. There was a message on the screen which read, I'll come get you. Wait, somewhere bright. Masami. He's my fiance. 15 years younger than me. Hey, yo. 15 years younger? Hello? I might add, he works as a nurse here. Oh. Well, now, is that a smile? That's a nice sight to see. Yeah. So, you're with me then, right? Well, help will come and there's no need to worry. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But the sensor is a save here. We're gonna go ahead and save here and end the episode. Um, so far so good. The story is very, very good. No complaints here so far. Um, I've enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you're new. I much appreciate every single one of you guys that come through and watch my YouTube videos. Much, much love, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did enjoy making it for you guys. Until next time, you already know the deal. Stay spooky.